The 2020 CCM Spitfire Bobber Stealth Reminiscence of the Supermarine Spitfire, a British fighter aircraft from the times of World War II, the CCM Spitfire is the brainchild of a specialist division within the shackles of CCM called the Skunkwer X-Team. Launched first in 2017, all 150 of them were sold in the first week itself. The Bobber variant that came in 2018 had a butch floating leather seat to represent the Americas in the 30s, and it too was a steal. For 2020, CCM has decided to go all black, and have released stealth editions of the Spitfire models, including this bobber craving for constant attention. The bike was built with a custom hand-built chassis setup and a bespoke tank, which now comes in a murkier appeal, courtesy the dark paint job and rims. Chassis components also see an upgrade for the stealth model. Styling the Spitfire bobber comes with a stripped-back bobber styling but still carries the cues from the rest of the motorcycles in the Spitfire range. This organic look comes courtesy of the single floating seat, swept-back bars, slammed suspension and chunky tires that keep the vintage affair going around in the air. Accentuating a stealth outlook for 2020, CCM has unveiled a blacked-out version of their bobber. This is the mean-looking hunk that comes with bronze frames, forks, and detail stripes to accent the gloss midnight black paint jobs and titanium gray anodizing. It is scattered with tiny details all over, like the machined Union Jack piece that occupies one of the empty brake calipers. Wrapped around 16 inches lightweight wheels are the new Avon Cobra black walled tires that get laced with the CNC billet black hub to give sufficient grip to rip the road. The seat is now a floating poly bush damp made of black quilted Alcantara instead of the full hide leather. The rear now sees a monoshock replacing the springless unit. It shares a majority of the chassis and components with the original Spitfire model including the carbon steel frame, which is now bronze chrome powder coated, and the rear subframe. The frame is still hand welded, and the blue residue is left untouched to depict a raw stature onto the bike. The sculpted aluminum fuel tank now gets the midnight gloss black paint job with bronze detail stripes. This bobber from CCM falls miles away from the styling seen on Triumph's post-war American designs. It sports a handful of modern bits while maintaining its industrial appeal just like all the other Spitfires. The front carbon fiber cowl surrounding the headlight unit is now is a gloss black unit with bronze detail strips, and the same goes with the fenders. This is the mean-looking versions of the standard Spitfire bobber bike with bronze frames, forks, and detail stripes to accent the gloss midnight black paint jobs and titanium gray anodizing. Overall dimension Powertrain The powerplant on this bobber makes use of the same Husqvarna TE630 motor used on all the other Spitfires. This fuel-injected, single-cylinder, four-stroke mill produces a healthy 55 horsepower and 43 pound-feet of max torque. This is enough to make the 297 pounds bike to feel like a rocket. The dual-pipe exhaust manifold gives the bike a proper bobber visual cue. The same six-speed transmission engages here as well. The superlative engine is highly tractable even at low to medium revs thanks to its 600cc capacity achieved by increasing the bore from 98mm to 100mm of a 576cc mill. The TE630 has an electronic fuel injection system developed in collaboration with Makuni. The engine features a 45mm throttle body with the fast idle control on the handlebars, and there is now a 300kPa Mitsubishi twin-jet fuel injector fitted to the throttle. The mill uses Kakusan 360W three-phase ignition flywheel, and the clutch is hydraulically controlled. The power plant on this bobber makes use of the same Husqvarna TE630 motor used on all the other Spitfires. This fuel-injected, single-cylinder, four-stroke mill produces a healthy 55 horsepower and 43 pound-feet of max torque. This is enough to make the 297 pounds bike to feel like a rocket. Engine Specification Ride and Handling The Spitfire Bobber shares the same hand-welded steel frame like the rest of its stablemates and is all hand-welded. It also carries the same swing arm. Flat bars and mid-mounted foot pegs give the right bobber-style riding position. The monoshock mounted directly under the seat replaces the springless nitrogen-charged unit on the original bobber. At the front, Marzocchi forks replace the adjustable WP suspension. 
Brembo supplies excellent stopping power to the CCM with top spec 4 piston and 2 piston calipers biting a 320 mm disc up front and 240 mm disc at the rear. Although you pay a hefty price for this bobber, you won't find any electronic intervention or writing aids. We would have loved to see at least abs on this stealth model. The monoshock mounted directly under the seat, is now a piggyback reservoir unit that replaces the springless nitrogen-charged unit on the original bobber. At the front, Marzocchi forks replace the adjustable WP suspension. Chassis specifications Price Be sure that CCM will also make this a limited edition affair of 150 units and will be available with a rather steep MSRP of $15,000. A couple of grand more than the original bobber, and will come with a two-year factory warranty. CCM mobile service technicians will be on hand to visit you for your services. If you'd like to individualize your handcrafted Spitfire, CCM has created a range of bespoke options and accessories. You can opt for a genuine piece of WW2 Spitfire fuselage mounted as a plate on bar clamps. Other accessories include leather Austin Racing Titanium Exhaust, 19 inches machined wheels, billet foot pegs, levers and covers, radiator guards, carbon bash plate, seat options, tank strap, grips, and others to make your Spitfire as individual as you are. Competition 2020 Triumph Bobber TFC Calling it a pure Bonneville hot rod, the British manufacturer captured the American way of the 30s with the original bobber. With TFC short for Triumph Factory Custom, the new bobber gets LED headlight, clip-on handlebars, carbon fiber bodywork, a billet top and bottom yoke, and more. Limited to just 750 units, each machine comes with a numbered plaque, model-specific banding, and a swag bag. The entire motorcycle will also be about 11 pounds lighter, and gets the Union Jack design on the knee pad is in silver foil, with a gold pinstripe on the tank. The heart of this bobber is the same category-leading, high-torque Bonneville 1200 cc engine, which boasts more power and torque, a 500 rpm higher redline, and an aero-titanium muffler with carbon fiber end caps. The crank, clutch, and counterbalancer are all lighter. Chassis updates see adjustable Olins at both ends, 310 mm discs, Brembo M50 monoblock calipers, and a Brembo MCS radial master cylinder. The TFC now gets three riding modes, traction control, abs. MSRP is $17,500. Final thoughts. Designed over a bacon sandwich on their tea break, CCM let the ball rolling for multiple models over the years based out of the same engine and chassis. Just like the multiple variants of the Supermarine Spitfire built using several wing configurations. For 2020, the Skunkwer X division bathed the bobber in darkness craving constant attention. For the price you pay, you might as well get a full-deck Triumph Bonneville bobber has a bigger engine and a better equipped kit. But what you don't get is the handmade exclusivity of a limited edition machine. CCM is a small player in the world of motorcycles, and they take much pride in that. With all their builds to date getting sold out within a week after their launch, I'm sure you have already lost the battle here. Nonetheless, to my spec, this bobber is the most authentic and brutally honest take on post-war America in the 30s. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.